Hi, Peter here, and in today's video we're going to talk about goal setting, because if you want to get something done, then being able to set goals effectively is vital. And the real key to setting goals at the end of the day is to realize that you're not setting goals for yourself, you're unsetting goals for that part of you called the unconscious mind. And to demonstrate this, we all know what happens when we set a New Year's resolution, like stop eating chocolate. After a week or so, we give up and we're back to eating chocolate. And what is the reason for that? Is because whilst the conscious mind has really good intentions, the unconscious mind is like, mmm, I love chocolate. And it doesn't want to stop eating it. And when there's a conflict between the conscious and the unconscious mind, the unconscious will win every single time. So just because you've formulated a goal really well in your in your to your conscious mind where you think it's formulated well if it's not accepted by the unconscious mind you're really you know pushing things uphill it's going to be real hard work so that has to be and you'll see that we'll go through that and that's the key part of everything we go through in this video now another thing to explain is the difference between a state and a goal because often when I ask people what they want they tell me I just want to be happy or I want to be joyful or I want to be excited about work. Now all of these are emotional states which in themselves are great things to want to have. But the truth is that our emotions go up and down on a daily basis. And there are other techniques which can show us how we can get happy in this very moment. You can just think of a happy time and become happy right now. So that is not a goal in itself. It has to be specific. Now the two things where goals have to be specific are first of all, you have to have a date when it happens. There's nothing like focusing the mind with a particular date like the 3rd of August 2017 or something like that to make the mind uh, really put into place the actions need, that need to happen before that date. The second thing is you need the end step or the evidence that you know you've created the goal. So you have to have specific and measurable items like a bank balance if it's a financial goal, a, a weight if it's a weight loss goal, you know, an action if it's uh, something you're hoping to do, you know, buying tickets to a holiday might be the end step. And you have to be able to visualize yourself actually doing this end step. So they are the two key components to making a goal specific. And you need this before any goal is achieved. Now, I've got a little sentence that if you put this goal into this sentence, you'll find that it achieves these two things and is a really good way of phrasing any goal. And the sentence is, It is now and you insert the date when you want it to happen, and then, and I am, and you insert the end step, or what you see yourself doing when you achieve that final goal. Okay, so something like, it is now three months from now, whatever that date is, and I am on the starting line of the bike race, race which I was hoping to compete in. So something as simple as that. And then once you've got the goal in that sentence, you know, that's your goal. And you need to see if, and check it and invest it with the unconscious mind. And now there's a few things to make sure that the unconscious mind is on board. First of all, you need a visualization of what that looks like. Because the unconscious mind works on visions, sounds and feelings and even smells and tastes. It doesn't work on words. So if you can see yourself starting that bike race, then that's a good start. We also need, if possible, to add in what does it sound like? What are you saying to yourself at the time? And then importantly, what it feels like. You know, of course, achieving your goal feels good. So amplify those feelings and then smells and tastes are not as important, but you can put them in as well. And check whether a couple of things, whether it's achievable, and that means achievable externally, which means if someone else can do it, then you can too. So if it's possible to do for others, then you can, you can achieve that goal as well. 
And also, is it achievable internally? So if, say, for example, uh, I wanted to be, I think I can be an Olympian uh, bike rider in the next few weeks, okay? Now, I haven't done any training at all, so when I think about that to myself, already my internal uh, unconscious mind doesn't believe it. It's like, no, that can't happen. Now, if you feel that, you're going to be in an, at a disadvantage. So you maybe need to change your goal a little bit so that you sort of get a green light from your unconscious mind or work on that to get ready, rid of any limiting emotions or decisions that are holding you back from feeling congruent that you can achieve that goal. And then go inside and really amp up those feelings as much as possible to make an impression on your unconscious mind of yourself getting that goal. And that's where vision boards and affirmations every day also help in sort of implanting what it is you want in your unconscious mind. And that's why they work so well. So you can try that. Okay, so that's the end of this little video, but there is more work to do. Uh, I want to show you a process called goals alignment, which you can use to further uh, make an impression on your unconscious mind. And that'll be in a different video. And then also a goals pyramid, because the next step is creating action items and milestones that lead up to that goal. And that will also be in another video. So I'll see you then.